Blessings Divine Reflection, welcome back to my channel. It's such an honor to connect with you. If you're new here, my name is Idalis. I'm a healer and a psychic intuitive and a starseed. And on this channel, I love to talk about deep esoterica and give you practical tools to help you along your spiritual journey. And if you would like to book an in-depth personalized session with me. I offer remote Reiki and psychic readings in my bio, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. In today's video, I'm going to be talking, of course, about Lyran star seeds, the Lyra constellation, and the feline beings that come from this constellation, and kind of the history behind who the Lyrans were. And at the very end of the video, I'm also going to be giving you five different traits to know if you yourself are Lyran starseed. And I also channel messages from the Lyran frequency, which I've had the honor of connecting with in the process of researching and writing this video. So I'm so, so excited to share this knowledge with you today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. So Lyra, the constellation of Lyra, is one of the 88 recognized constellation in our sky. The brightest star in the Lyran constellation is called Vega, which is Arabic for vulture. Vega is the brightest star in the Lyran constellation, the second brightest in all of the northern hemisphere, and the fifth brightest in all of the sky. And fun fact, Vega actually used to be our North Star, but due to Earth's wobble and slight tilt, it's inched slightly past our true North, and our North Star is now Polaris. And in 14,000 years or so, Vega will once again be our North Star. So the Lyran constellation is represented differently depending on the culture. Of course, Middle Easterners depict the Lyra constellation as a diving eagle or a vulture. In Northern Europe, the Lyran constellation is depicted as a harp, but to the Greeks, the Lyra constellation was depicted as a lyre, which is an instrument similar to the harp. And this lyre is deeply connected to the myth of Orpheus and Eurydice. For those who don't know, Orpheus was a, was a poet to the Greeks and channeled the planets, the energy of the planets through his poetry. And it is also said that he would strum his lyre and the sound of his lyre would be able to enchant even the most inanimate of objects. And he used this lyre to save his lover Eurydice from the depths of Hades' grasp in the underworld. <laughs> so, yeah. Fascinating stuff. So Lyra is famously bordered by four different constellations. The constellation Vulpecula is to the south. Cygnus is to the west of the Lyra constellation. Draco is to the north. And Hercules is to the east. So if you're someone who does consider themselves to be a Lyran starseed, connecting to the constellation of Lyra itself may prove to be difficult. This is because the Lyrans were wiped out for the most part. This is due to the war with the beings from the constellation Draco. There has been a war happening between light and dark and it originated with the fight between the feline star beings of Lyra and the reptilian, draconian beings of Draco. Now, if the Lyrans were feline, right, they are often depicted with heads of lions as well. The beings of Draco have more of a lizard like quality to them. Um, and the beings that have incarnated on Earth as human beings who are disguising themselves as human beings but are really these reptilian beings. If you have been awakened enough 
or if, if you are in the process of awakening, you will see that these beings who have disguised themselves as human will often appear with a tongue kind of slithering, slithering out. Um, you'll see it, it'll be like a flash of a second, and their eyes will become sharpened like the pupils of an actual reptile. So that's definitely something to look out for. This war between light and dark is a war between truth and ignorance. And if you are a liar and starseed, more often than not, you reside on the side of truth. I also want to mention that not all draconian beings are bad or evil. If you are from the energetic frequency of, of the constellation Draco, you can also be of the light for truth, right? This war has been going on for millennia. And if you are a Lyran starseed, the Lyrans want you to know that this is your number one priority. <laughs> this is top one priority. Despite what is going on around you in the 3D, the 3D does not define you and that you are a fifth dimensional being inherently. I want to mention that most of the original Lyrans have fled to the stars of Orion's belt, Al Nitak, Al Nilam, and Mintaka. This is where most Lyrans have taken refuge. So connecting to those stars could be a great way for you to connect to the Lyran frequency, but I'm also going to give you some more ways to connect that have been channeled, the messages that I have been able to pull down. In the process of filming this video, I faced the most opposition from opposing spiritual forces than I have in any other video. So it was harder to pull messages from, <laughs> from the Lyran frequency, right? But I did pull a couple on how to connect to the Lyran frequency yourself. So I'm gonna share those with you now. Okay, so a great way to connect to the Lyran star beings, the feline star beings of Lyra is to connect to the crown chakra which is our seventh chakra on top of the head and is purple, is the last chakra along our chakra system in the body and connects us to universal spiritual knowledge. And the throat chakra, the fifth chakra in the chakra system that exists in the body vibrates at the color blue and is about channeling basically the frequency of the crown chakra. The crown chakra is purple, the throat chakra is kind of like this light blue, maybe even teal-ish kind of color. And connecting to these chakras is going to help you to connect to the Lyran frequency. While channeling the Lyran frequency, I also heard light language. So if you are very skilled at light language, you may be a Lyran starseed because of this connection to these uh, frequencies. I also got that you might be a voice actor or a radio host, someone, someone of that sort, who is meant to plant seeds in the minds of your listeners, of, of higher consciousness, higher awareness, um, or maybe you do so directly. Maybe you're just someone who feels called to share and express the truth of a reality that you have been attuned to and that you've always known and that is the truth of <laughs> reality. I also want to mention that the Lyrans may appear to you in these colors, in these lights of purple and blue while channeling. I, I you know, <laughs> saw those, those colors around me and I knew that they were speaking to me, that they were present because of this, you know, connection that I <laughs> was discovering. Also, if you would like to connect to the Lyrans, you can connect through them, through the worship of the goddess Bastet, uh, who was a cat deity that was worshipped in ancient Egypt. The Lyrans, the civilization of Lyra, was a great mother civilization. They said it to me in those specific words, and was a society that was largely matriarch. These feline star beings were also fiercely protective and worked in harmony with one another. And now let's get into the starseed traits. So I have five starseed traits for you to come into better understanding of 
who you are and the frequency at which Lyran star seeds exist. <laughs> this is mostly channeled information and at the very end I have a, a quote from the Lyrans to end off the video, so here we go. So the first starseed trait that I listed is if you embody your masculine energy in a feminine way. Now this can be if you are a male or a female, it doesn't matter how you identify, if you embody your masculine energy, so the way you express yourself, the way you command attention, where you assume responsibility, right? You present this masculine quality in a feminine way. Now, of course, you know, obviously, this energy is a spectrum, right? The masculine and feminine exists on a wide spectrum, and this can mean a variety of different things to different people. That is coming through very strongly. Cats, right, <laughs> are both a lunar and a solar deity. They have a certain regality to them and also a deep access to a higher wisdom. Cats are d deeply intellectual and that is an energy, a frequency that you emit to others whether you are consciously aware of it or not. I also want to mention that you have a very soft nature. <laughs> While channeling the energy of the Lyrans, I kept seeing really cute baby cubs, like a tiger cub. I saw baby kittens. Oh my god. I've also been seeing so many like baby kitten videos showing up on my social media pages. Maybe if you do see those images, maybe the Lyrans are trying to speak to you. But yeah, you also have a very soft and kind nature. Number two that I listed it out is that you have access to knowledge of the occult, of occult wisdom, and just spiritual knowledge in general. You are a seeker. You're a seeker of this information if you are a Lyran starseed. And because of this, it kind of has alienated you <laughs> from like the larger culture scape, right? It's, it's not a... It's becoming hopefully, you know, a more popular topic of discussion but it's not so quite mainstream <laughs> just yet right so you have a certain mystique around you right there's like a, a hidden world and, and you have an access to a really deep knowledge and knowledge that not everyone is attuned to and privy to and this makes you very special very unique and this also brings me to my third starseed trait which is that you're someone who is meant to carve out your own space in the world for yourself. You have very unique and special gifts that when cultivated will give you an edge over any competitors, I wanna say, because people can only come to you for this specific knowledge. You're not someone who's meant to walk a cookie cutter path. You're someone who's meant to create your own niche and you have a very specific mis mission to those around you. Number four, if you have a deep desire to come into your full potential as a human being but also an energetic being, an energetic soul, you have a, a deep call to access higher knowledge and access higher awareness and access you know, higher levels of consciousness and you might be into consciousness engineering, seeing a how how far you can take the mind, right? How far it goes, how much you can expand. You may also be someone who's interested in like human design, right? And very like intricate, detail-oriented, like scientific forms of connecting to higher power and consciousness. Number five, you have a strong ability to command your reality into existence, right? <laughs> You're someone who is able to speak what you want and make it a reality. That's a that's a really strong power. You are very tuned into the true matrix, right? The original matrix. You are tapped into the energy that permeates all of existence, this beautiful energy pattern that is the universe. <laughs> because of that, you are able to manipulate it and bend it to your will because you are aware of these higher concepts. If you connect to any of those starseed traits, then it is most definite 
that you are a Lyran starseed and to close out the Lyran starseed video and to close off this video I have a beautiful channeled message from the Lyrans themselves and I'm gonna read it exactly as I heard it and the message is remember your soul's true calling express yourself truly and most honestly you have a deep set wisdom and the path will be laid out for you if you decide to trust develop the psychic gifts within you and surrender to the psychic gifts within you it's a small message but the words are mighty <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. It was such an honor to connect with you and to share this information with you of the Lyran Frequency. Definitely check out my other Starseed videos linked below. Of course, if you want a one-on-one -on -one session with me, the links for that is, are also in the bio. And if you're interested in self-help and self-development, check out my blog posts and follow me on my other socials. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you next week for a brand new video. I love you so much. Bye.